guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you're new. We are here once again in my lovely Oculus Quest, and we are back in the game Let's Make Pottery VR, or Let's Create Pottery VR. And we played the first half of this in the last episode. Um, I actually played the game for an hour, and I had to cut it because that was way too long to upload. So here is the second part. In the last episode, we made some money, and money was raining down from the sky. We actually made the most money that we made at an auction, so that was really good. And now we're just going to continue along. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's just jump right in. So let's do continue. And look, we've got some, a letter in our inbox. Hello. I am a friend of your Aunt Chloe. I just bought a new modernistic apartment. I'm looking for a piece of pottery to add to its aesthetic appeal. May I commission a well-designed vase? I will pay 100 coins for a unique shape with garnish colors. Does she mean garish colors? Make it look similar to the one in this picture, which looks like a racing cup. All right, we can do that. So we need to go to the store and buy some new brushes and some new colors. So let's get the color first. We need yellow and we need checkerboard patterns. So I don't know. Let's just buy all the checkerboard patterns. Okay. Now let's create. So we have to make it taller. Okay, that's as tall as it wants, and wider. And wider at the bottom. I find it easier to make everything wide and then narrow it later. So it goes in here, and then it, oh, I just got rid of one instead of make, making it better, uh-oh. And then it goes in here, Goes in way more than that. I can't get it as narrow as it needs to be without screwing up everything. going to be close enough, right? Let's bake this baby up. I love this game, you guys. <laughs> it's more fun just going into the zone and playing and just, I don't know. So we need, okay, let's first get the brushes. So what size do you suppose those checkerboards are? I guess I didn't need to buy them all, did I? Was it this one? No, undo. Does that look right? 
I think that looks right. So there's that. And then there's two lines. And then there's this. Oh, no. And there's this. No, I missed. My hands are so shaky, you guys. My asthma's been bad. I missed again. My asthma's been bad, so I've been having to take my Ventolin, and um, my Ventolin makes me very, very shaky. So now we need one, two, three, four lines. Let's go closer. It'll help. One, two, three, four lines. And we need some, another row of these things here. So let's go closer. Makes it much easier. And then, uh-oh, we need diagonal lines. Do I have money to buy diagonal lines? I did not buy diagonal lines. Oh, no. We have to go back to the shop. We need another, okay, we have money. We have money. So I need... I think these ones right here. Let's just buy those. I bought brushes that I didn't need, which means that's not good. So let's go closer again. Do you think that's right? One, two, three, four. Probably one more. Five. Close enough. And let's go back to our paint colors. So we need yellow at the top. And we need yellow here. And we need yellow here. I'm clicking each one three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. And we need red. It would be cool if we actually had a paintbrush in our hand. Let's put more red. Let's make the red even more vibrant. And I think that looks right. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty darn good. I think she'll like that. We've got our racing cup. It looks like something for a race, doesn't it? So let's wait for our email or our letter. Here's our inbox. I knew you were the right person for the job. Beautiful. Here are your 100 coins. Thank you so much, George Green. He gave us a six out of six. Awesome. So, yeah, let's try another one. Create, let's make some money. We can do whatever we want now. So let's make a small one. Let's make a little chalice. I think I want the top to be bigger. No, we're not making a small one anymore, are we? No, this needs to be, oh, cool. There, little vase, done. Bake, bake. Nice little vase. Chalicey type vase, <laughs> giant wine glass, maybe. Oh, 
Uh oh. My left controller, I think the battery may be dying. Now let's see our options. We have checkerboards and we have these checkerboards. What is oh big checkerboards? What about these ones? Small checkerboards. Okay, can you stop moving? I don't know. I was trying to change it to this and it didn't change. No. How about this? Now it looks like a lampshade base. All right, we made a lampshade base. Should we add color? No, let's just leave it. Do you think they sell more if they're color? Um, no, you know what? I like it the way it is. Let's just say ready. Let's see if anyone wants to buy this lampshade base. <laughs> Let's start our auction. Come on, come on. A glorious lampshade base. $55. I'll take it. $84. That's more paint. More colors. Thank you, Sir Edward Lynn. Thank you very much. Money raining from the sky. Whee! Oh, look at the stars. So, let's continue. And let me just show you the rest of the gallery. Let me turn. It's hard because I'm sitting on my bed. So we have a little waving area over here. And we have some art on the walls. And it's just really cute. We have places to put some work if we want to display our favorite ones. And let's check the inbox. Fredward, Frederick Quill. He wants something for the Byzantine exhibition. Hello. I work for the Atlantic Museum of Art. Oh my God, this is like a real client. And I need your help. We are doing an exhibition on Byzantine pottery. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So I would like to order a replica of the Byzantine beaker. Here's a short overview of what you need to know in order to complete this task. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, its successors kept using Roman red pottery. But at around 700 AD, Byzantine potters began to make tin glazed pottery. This is why these clay items look so similar to the Islamic glazed pottery. The replicas should be handmade in light color with tall, slender body. Picture included. To me, that is not a tall, slender body. But, all right, let's do it. So, we have yellow, we have red, I think we need to buy orange. Let's go to the store and buy orange. Yes. Should we buy pink? Why not? Don't think we need pink right now, but let's buy it and let's create. So let's see how tall it has to be. That's how tall it has to be. Wow. Okay, let's just make everything fatter. Okay, now let's try to sculpt it into a shape that kind of looks like this. So it's wider at the top and then it goes in. Oh, I don't think we're wide enough, you guys, because, okay, look. Mm, 
we did not go wide enough. All right, wider. Okay, so the bottom is smaller than the top. I am having difficulty with this shape. It needs to go in some more over here. Well, you know what? We've got four to five. We're going to just stop there because I don't want to screw it up. Sometimes if I play it, with it more, I just screw it up. So let's bake this, buddy, and... It's a little bit wobbly. Probably could have smoothed the sides better, but maybe once we paint it. So red on top. And red on the bottom, red in the middle, a little bit, no, what's that? Okay. Okay, a little bit of red. Now we need orange. Yellow. I think we need more orange. Maybe more red. No, that was a boo-boo. Undo that one. No, I'm still on red, and I'm trying to be on yellow. I'm not getting it right. Oh, hmm. You know what? This is my version of it. So we've got four out of five. We're going to stop there, and we're going to say we are ready. Let's just send this sucker over. Inbox. You are a real artist, and your projects are always wonderful. I'm glad I can always count on you. Here is your payment of 150 coins. Wow. But we still need more, I think, the one time when we did the auction, didn't we? And I think he used the word always three times in that sentence. So let's click. So now we can just create. Just for fun, you guys. Just for fun. Let's just leave this lump of clay as it is and bake it and see if anyone would pay for that. And we'll just paint it up <laughs> just for fun. Okay, so we've got orange. Whee, let's do the orange and 
and yellow. I was still on orange. And red, just like before. Well, not just like before because I'm screwing up. good to go. Let's see if we get any money just from basically throwing paint on the slab of clay as is. <laughs> just for fun. Nine dollars. Seventeen dollars. Okay, twenty-six dollars. Now that would cover the cost of that clay maybe or maybe not. But Amanda Freeman sold it. We made some money. We did absolutely nothing with it. We just painted the clay as it came. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Hello. I wonder what really happened to the Neanderthals that went extinct about 25,000 years ago. I just don't believe the official story. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that they made some simple hemispherically shaped pottery. Perhaps it resembled the pottery in this picture. Could you make a, play, a clay copy of it? I will give you 200 coins. Wow, Frank Smith. Yes, I will. So we need um, a guy with an arrow, or a lady with an arrow, and we need an elk or a deer or something. Brushes. This is exciting. Okay, how do we find what we need? Okay. I didn't even look up your gradients. Maori. Celtic. Oh, Neanderthal. It's Neanderthal. So we need this one. That was not cheap, was it? And we need this one. Ooh. And wait, what color? Do we need more color? I forgot to notice the color. Wait. Pink, white, yellow, and orange. I think we're good. I think we're good. I wish I could keep this. I really like it. Okay, let's see. We didn't even make it, and I want to keep it. How tall does this have to be? Okay, that's as tall as it has to be. Narrow on the top and progressively fatter. More fatter? Okay. So it goes in a little bit and then out. Okay, we're stopping right there. We are stopping right there and baking. That's the first time I got five and five. Bake. Come on, fatty. In you go. All right. Here we go. <gasps> I'm so excited. We can paint. But first, let's, let's look at our brushes. So... Arrow people are at the bottom. How far up? Mm, here, maybe? What do you think? Not there. Oh, it's already there. And dear guy. Maybe there? No, no, no. That's too low. Dear guy, right there. Yeah, that looks right. And now the colors. Orangey yellow on the top. And orangey and yellow on the bottom.
and Pinky Pinky. No. A little bit more orangey on the bottom. Oh, that's yellow. Now it looks too streaky. The pink comes all the way down to here. But it's like a pink mixed with yellow. I think that's as close as I'm going to get, you guys. I'm really loving this. I would like to keep this one and display it in the shop. I hate to send this away. This is beautiful. I love this. Like, look how, look how nice it would look right there. Wouldn't that look nice right there? Can we make another one? We can. We can make another one. So let's keep one and let's try another one. And we'll send whatever one works out better to the seller and keep one for the shop. Because I love this one. So we're going to make a real fat one. I cannot get the shape right this time. I think it goes in a little bit more at the bottom. Okay, we're going to just fire this one. We'll keep this one for ourselves. And now we just basically have to put the masks on there. No. And now the colors, and you guys already saw this, so I'll fast forward to the end.
All right, well, this is as good as I'm going to get. I think it needs a little bit more pink at the top. So we're going to keep this one for ourselves. We'll put it right there and we're going to sell this one to their, because that one came out better. This is nice. I really like the shape and patterns. Thanks. Here are your 200 coins. Thank you so much. And I love it. And that one is nicer than the other one. But you know what? We've got one for ourselves. And you guys, I've been playing for a very long time. I'm going to stop here. Oh my God. I've been playing for... Oh, a very long time. So I might have to break this into two episodes. I'm not sure. I might just shorten it and put it into one. But either way, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this game. And I promise you this game is a lot more fun to play than it probably is to watch. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're bored at home and you're, you're, you're stuck at home because of the pandemic and you want something to do that you don't have to have like a 6.5 foot space for, this you could play sitting on your bed or your couch or a chair, and it's fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know what you think of this game, and take care, but most importantly of all, stay safe. Okay, guys, bye for now.